Evening folks, um, here we go with the preview for the weekend of Saturday the 8th of May and as usual we'll start with the uh, Northern League and we'll just run through the fixtures like, like normal. Uh, Fleetwood versus Lancaster, Fullwood and Broughton versus Garstang, Longridge versus Netherfield, Morecambe versus Kendall and St Anne's versus Chorley. Uh, now you'll note that uh, Leyland and Blackpool are not there. That's because they had a game scheduled on Bank Holiday Monday and it rained, so it was just five points each for them. Uh, so some decent games there, I think, actually, this week. But one I've gone for is Longridge versus Netherfield, 1v2. Um, right at the top of the table. Super game, this. The uh, the two teams, they've both had three wins each. Both are capable of big scores. I'd watch out for a cracker here. Uh, I think that's going to be a belter. Uh, Palace Shield. Croston versus Penwitham, Eccleston versus Great Eccleston, Fylde versus Barrow, Kirkham and Wesham versus Vernon Carus, Preston versus Penrith, and South Shore versus Thorns and Cleveleys. Now, I think um, the game of the day for me is Eccleston versus Great Eccleston. That's 3v5. Um, only one point separates them in the league, and they both had two wins so far. Tight game, I think. There, uh, we'll have to wait and see. That's the one that appealed to me. And in the Westmoreland League, um, Arnside versus Bear that's aging Arnside at home to Bear, Burnside versus Carnforth, Milnthorpe versus Silverdale. That's an interesting one. Uh, they're, they're normally quite decent games. Sedba School versus Shire's Head, Wharton versus Sedgwick. And Westgate versus Heesham. They're all on Saturday. And then on Sunday, Sedba School are at home again against Trimple. So they're getting the games in Sedba. Um, obviously, they, they've got to play all the games before the, the, the lads break up for uh, for the summer holiday. So they're getting them in there. So a double header for them. My game of the day, uh, 2v6. I don't think you can look very far past uh, Westgate versus Heesham. Uh, I saw Heesham last Saturday. Uh, they were lacking on batting, as I, as I mentioned previously. Hopefully, they've got the batting back. A very tight game, a very feisty game in pro, in prospect here. Eastern will need to bring their A game. Um, it's definitely the game to be at as this. Definitely the game to watch. So, we've got Longridge versus Netherfield, Eccleston versus Great Eccleston, and Westgate versus Heesham. Those are the games of the day. Now, I'm just going to stretch this out for a little bit longer. Um, because now we've had uh, a few games, we're going to look at the batting and bowling uh, tables for league games only, um, and, and just by uh, runs and wickets. I'm not going to go by average. So we'll look in the Northern League. Um, the top three in the Northern League, we've got Charlie Swarbrick of Morecambe, he's got 248. Ben Barrow of Netherfield's on 170, and Sid Eshlad of Chorley, he's on 168. So you can see we're, we're including the pros as well, which I think is fair. Bowling-wise, in the Northern League, Abe Negi from Fullwood is on 14 wickets. Jonathan Millward from Longridge, he's on 13. And Matt Jackson from Netherfield is on 12. Uh, so it's all quite tight there. And we're going to go now and look at the Palace Shield. Now, the Palace Shield, uh, the batting's really close. Well, they're both really close, actually. Uh, Palace Shield, we've got Ian Wormsley from Penwitham. He's on 175. John Ede from Thornton Cleveland is on 164. Now, uh, he got a ton, didn't he, last week? Uh, so that's the, the, a big boost for him. And Will Thistlethwaite from Great Eccleston, he got a ton in the first week. He's on 161. Uh, so that's quite tight. In the bowling, Greg Tyrrell from Thornton Cleveland is on 10. And there's a whole host of players on 9. There's 5 or 6 of them. Can't, I'm not going to list them at the moment. <clears throat> but we'll do this every 3 or 4 weeks as we go through the season. We might even do it every week if it works well. And in the Westmoreland League, uh, batting wise, uh, Ryan Nelson from Carnforth, he's on 282. Uh, he's not been out yet, so he's got no average. Uh, Robert White from Bear, he's on 204. He's quite consistent. He's had three scores of similar amounts. And then Logan Jones, we've got a said for school, he's on 177, so he's doing all right. Don't know anything about him. Uh, then in the bowling, we've got. Uh, Darren Wills from Millthorpe, he's got 11 wickets. And then we've got three players on eight wickets. We've got uh, Tom Jakes from Shire's Head, 
Tom Parkinson from Carnforth and Zach Buchanan from Westgate. So it's all very tight in the batting and the bowling. Like I say, we'll update you with those as uh, as the weeks go by. I'll, I'll do it on a, on this show, on the previous show on a Thursday. Then on the result, result show on a Sunday morning, uh, I'll give you the tables as I have them. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good weekend.